This looks better, but now our plot has a huge dynamic range since we're plotting it on a log scale. The dark blue is basically zero, but what about all these other colors? Here the waveform is down 30 orders of magnitude from the source. Here is a plot of the electric field time waveform at the transmitter or the, over the first 100 time steps, the time span of our simulation right now. We can see that the source has already cycled through more than a wavelength, and the amplitude is 1, as we were expecting for a hard source. Let's also consider something else as well. Over 100 time steps, how far is the wave capable of propagating in free space? Well, it would propagate C meters per second, and we'd have to multiply that by number of seconds to get meters. So n times dt, and then if we want the number of grid cells, we would have to divide by delta, and this gives us a value of about 63 grid cells. So if we didn't divide by delta, we would get a value in meters. But now, since we plotted in grid coordinates, number of grid cells, it's useful here to get number of grid cells. So here's 63. So our, the fastest our wave could have propagated is the speed of light, and it would have reached 63 grid cells by the time the simulation is done. Of course, our source also ramps up from zero, since it's sinusoid. So there should also be a slight delay for the ramping up of our source. But this means that all these orange and green and other colors, like blue we're seeing out here beyond 63 grid cells, is basically noise. The amplitude of these field values are so small, we're plotting values that are in the noise floor of the simulation. That's why we get a nice diagonal line here, right across uh, the plot also. We're plotting such a wide range of values, we can see the noise propagating across the grid. So let's try zooming in on the brighter yellow values that we're interested in within about 63 grids of the cells of the source. So to do this, let's try putting in, at, right after you plot c-axis and minus 3.2 to minus 2. We're going to only plot over these, this range. Make sure you put this before your pause Otherwise, you won't see this in your plot. It'll pause and then it'll quickly plot this and you won't even be able to see it.